Hello, and welcome to this technical video about a new micro-stepping stepper motor controller IC, the L6470. This device has several advantages in the application. It reduces the design effort, since the IC contains virtually everything needed to drive the motor. It significantly reduces the overhead in the firmware to drive the motor, and it drives the motor more smoothly than conventional techniques. Here we have the block diagram of the L6470. The device incorporates the power bridges, micro-stepping control, a digital state machine, and the D-spin core to control the motor movements. It communicates with the microcontroller using an SPI interface. The configuration information and movement commands are sent to the L6470 across the SPI and the device sends status and fault information back to the microcontroller. The L6470 can be configured to operate the stepper motor in full step, half step, or micro stepping modes with up to 128 micro steps per step using voltage mode drive for the micro stepping. Most micro stepping controls today operate in current mode because this compensates for variations in power supply voltage and motor back EMF to keep the motor torque constant. However, voltage mode can have smoother motor operation. It also eliminates the need for a current sensing resistor and the associated current control circuit. To operate in voltage mode, there are three main issues that need to be addressed. As the motor speeds up, the back EMF reduces the effective voltage driving the coil and therefore the current goes down, reducing the motor torque. The back EMF compensation in the L6470 addresses this issue. Variations in the power supply voltage directly affect the current. The supply voltage compensation in the L6470 overcomes this issue. As the motor heats up, the winding resistance increases and would reduce the motor current. The resistance compensation addresses this issue. First, let's look at the back EMF compensation. If the magnitude of the applied sine wave voltage remains constant over the operating speed, as shown on the left, the resulting current decreases with speed as the back EMF tends to reduce the effective voltage across the coil. If we increase the applied voltage by an amount equal to the back EMF, the resulting current remains the same over the operating speed, as shown on the right. The L6470 uses a set of registers that define the slope of the increase to be applied to the sine wave. Essentially, the device multiplies the register value, or slope, by current speed and adds that value to the programmed current magnitude. Different slopes can be defined for various portions of the operating profile. Let's go into the lab and look at the operation during micro-stepping. Here, we have set up the evaluation kit for the L6470. The kit includes the L6470 evaluation board, an interface board that connects to the USB port of the PC and translates the commands from the PC to the SPI interface for the L6470 and the software with a graphical user interface that runs on the PC. In this setup, the L6470 is driving the small stepper motor that is rotating the disc. We also have an oscilloscope running on the PC so that we can see the current in one of the phases of the motor. Using the graphical user interface, we can configure the stepper motor for the L6470 so the motor runs in full step, half step, or micro stepping mode. If we set this for 128 micro steps, we see a sinusoidal current in the motor. Notice that we get good transition through zero and a smooth current waveform. Now let's take a look at the back EMF compensation. First, we set up the system so that the BEMF compensation is zero. This is done by setting the registers that control the slope of the BEMF compensation to zero. This keeps the applied voltage constant over the operating range. Scope channel 2 shows the current, and channel 1 shows the applied voltage. With no back EMF compensation, we see the variation of current as the speed increases. If we trigger the scope at the start of a movement, we see the applied voltage and phase current as the motor accelerates. 
We can see that if the applied voltage remains constant, the current decreases with speed. Since the torque is directly proportional to the current, you can see that the torque is significantly reduced in this operating mode. If we now set the registers in the L6470 to compensate for the back EMF, we should see that the current is approximately constant over the speed range. These are values that we've empirically determined are the correct slope to compensate for the back EMF. Again, we trigger the scope at the start of a movement. We see that the back EMF compensation has increased the applied voltage as speed increases and the peak current remains approximately constant over the speed range. We could even overcompensate and have the current increase with speed by setting the slope higher. Power supply compensation works in a similar way. The device can be set up so that the internal A to D converter continuously monitors the power supply voltage and the device multiplies the sine wave amplitude by a compensation factor so that the current remains essentially constant over the operating voltage range. Another key feature of the L6470 is the D-spin core that implements a motion control algorithm in the dedicated state machine. Using the SPI interface, the microcontroller sends the L6470 the operating parameters such as maximum speed, acceleration and deceleration and motion commands, such as move a number of steps forward or backwards, go to a specific location, or run at constant speed. On the evaluation kit, we can set all of these parameters using the graphical user interface. When the device receives a command, it calculates the required movement profile, as shown by the green line in the diagram. It then executes the commanded movement by starting at the minimum programmed speed, accelerating up to speed at the programmed acceleration rate, running the required number of steps at the programmed maximum speed, and then decelerating back to zero speed at the programmed deceleration rate. For short moves, the movement profile may not reach the programmed maximum speed, and would follow a profile shown by the red line where it accelerates and then decelerates back to zero to reach the required position. For a run command, the device follows the acceleration ramp up to the programmed speed and runs at that speed until a stop command is received. When it receives the stop command, it decelerates back down to zero following the deceleration profile. The device has four stop commands. Soft stop decelerates the motor and maintains the current. Hard stop stops the motor instantly, ignoring the deceleration. Soft high Z decelerates down to zero and then puts the bridge in a high impedance state. And hard high Z immediately puts the bridge in a high impedance state, resulting in no stopping or holding torque. From the GUI on the PC, we can program the operating points and also send movement commands to the L6470. The GUI has two screens, one for constant speed mode and one to operate the device in positioning mode. We also have a pop-up window to set the movement profile parameters. This window sets the acceleration and deceleration parameters and the maximum speed to be used for position commands then writes them to the L6470 across the SPI interface. Once we have set up the device, we can close this window and return to the main operating screen. In speed mode, you can set the operating speed and then command the device to run at that speed. The L6470 accelerates up to that speed and runs at constant speed until commanded to stop. If we change the speed and command the device to run at a new speed, the L6470 accelerates or decelerates to the new speed and runs at that speed until it receives a new command. In positioning mode, we can send commands to move forwards or backwards a fixed number of steps or to move to a fixed absolute position. In either case, the L6470 executes the movement by accelerating and running at constant speed and then decelerating back to zero, finishing at the commanded position. If we send a command to move 12,800 microsteps forward, which corresponds to 100 steps of 128 microsteps, 
it will move one half of a rotation forward. We can reverse the direction and have it move half a rotation back, or we can set it for five full forward rotations. The L6470 can also move the motor to a specified absolute position. The device uses an internal 22-bit counter to keep track of the absolute position and can be commanded to move the motor to a specific absolute position based on the counter. In a typical application, the counter resolution corresponds to about 164 revolutions of the motor, so there is plenty of resolution for most applications. When the device receives a go-to command, it calculates the number of steps required to move from the current position to the final position and then executes the move. It can calculate the shortest distance, forward or reverse, to the final position and automatically move in that direction or move in a specified direction. When we left the motor, it was at five full rotations forward from the home or zero position. If we command the L6470 to move the motor to position 12,800, which corresponds to half a rotation forward from zero, the device determines that the shortest way is to move backwards, and so reverses the motor four and a half rotations. Since the L6470 does all of the calculations and executes the movement completely on its own, the burden of making all the calculations and sending individual step commands is removed from the microcontroller. The L6470 also reduces the pin count required on the microcontroller since multiple L6470 devices can be daisy-chained on a single SPI port. This can be a significant advantage in applications with multiple motors. Here we have introduced the L6470 Stepper Motor Controller Driver IC. We have seen that the IC includes a digital core that controls the motion profile along with the power bridges and the micro-stepping controller. The advantages of the L6470 are simplified design, less loading on the microcontroller, and smoother operation for the motor. Detailed information on the device and its operation can be found at www.st.com. Thank you for your attention.